If a man takes his shirt off, he might not be served at a restaurant, but he's probably not going to get arrested. On the other hand, if a woman wants to cool off or paint herself up for the big game, she better be wearing at least a bra or she could find herself in jail, right? So where does the law draw the line? Our next guest has the answer. Ed Herman is with the law firm Brown and Crouppen. And ladies and gentlemen, he is making his 200th appearance on Great Day St. Louis. That's Thank pretty, you. Thank hey, you. that was unprompted. Wow, and you can see how after all these <laughs> topics, we've kind of run out and now we're no, talking about nipples. I thought you were going big for number 200. Is that right? Well, depending on how we handle this topic, <laughs> oh, it may geez. turn out to be my last appearance here's, on the show. Here's the crux of the matter. Let me just yes. make sure the train stays on the tracks. Yes. Basically, we're talking about identical behavior. You making your own yes. decision to bear your own chest and under the law, some people would argue yes. they should be treated the same. Well, I mean, uh, there's a good argument for that. I mean, it's kind of hard to argue against it when you really think it through because right. you think, well, why should there be this difference? Yet, there's always been a recognized difference between men and women, and, and so the law has developed to reflect that. The question now is, is that should it continue to reflect right. that? And there have been cases around the country that are really challenging this notion. Two specifically, Two one specifically. out of New Hampshire, one yeah. out of Colorado. So let's now, start with what happened in New Hampshire. New, New Hampshire, there? three women went topless uh, on a beach. They were arrested for public indecency. Um, they were convicted. They appealed their conviction saying, hey, you know, we're, we're not doing anything. It's the same thing that the men are doing. Yeah, we're being treated treatment. differently than the men. They actually kind of got around it. Their Supreme Court found by a 3-2 decision that uh, the law in New Hampshire said that um, Neither one could be nude in public. But then if you looked at the definition of nudity, they define right, nudity they define nudity different for women. Uh -huh. So they kind of got off on a technicality. Okay. Uh, but you know, they wanted to keep the status quo. Now in, in Colorado, mm -hmm. a very different result where um, in Fort Collins, Colorado, somebody uh, wanted to go topless and they were basically told that they couldn't. They appealed. The Free the Nipple, there's an actual That's an organization group called yes, that. Yeah. And 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 there um, you know, they had to show on the defense side, the state had to show, or the city had to show a legitimate government purpose mm -hmm. for keeping women uh, covered. And they claimed, of course, that they thought if women went topless, there would be distracted drivers, there would be fights, it would be upsetting for children. For kids, yeah. But when the court looked at it, they said there was simply no evidence that any of those things had occurred. Because there are other cities that right. allow Boulder it. Boulder allows it. Denver allows and it. And they couldn't find any stats. These are now both cities claims. that I plan to travel to. <laughs> I got to continue my research in this field. I've been this, studying this since I was 14. Yeah, you've been on the show 200 times. Yes. You can get away with this. With, with a little stuff. bit of, look, we got to play a little bit. That's the thing is a lot <laughs> of, a lot of this know. is born out of Puritan traditions and, yes. and, and people not having a, a sense of humor about these things. I don't know what the right answer is, Matt. I, I don't get to make the rules. Well, I know what I'm comfortable with, but yes. I can't talk about what somebody else is comfortable with. And I, I'm not sure what the right answer is. I can tell you, it came up in Springfield, Missouri. Right. Where there was a local the, case. There was a, or, or, uh, they, they tried to strengthen the law to not only make a woman cover her nipples, but to cover under boob. This whole, they literally said this. The whole area, underneath the area, they yes. passed a law that said, do that we either. don't want to see that either. Yeah. Thankfully, they at least struck that law down. So we're back to where we yeah. were for the last several hundred years. <laughs> because they realized, wow, what if the Kardashians want to someday come to Springfield, Missouri? You know they what? wouldn't Listen, be allowed Listen, I in. subscribe to the philosophy yeah. of sun's out, buns out. <laughs> oh, but, that's, but that's me. That's not everybody. I why, can't speak for everybody. This is why everybody. we don't vacation together. But let me no. ask what everybody at home is probably thinking. At the end of the day, does it really matter? And the reason I ask is because the surveys show, even in areas where this is allowed, the vast majority of women choose not to do it yeah. because it's outside their own Yes, but zone. you just said the key word. It was a choice right. for them. And the real question is, is should that choice extend to everybody? And we know that breastfeeding laws have only gone to all 50 states just in up. 2018. Yeah. So, you know, for some people, this matters a lot. I don't want to make light of it. I'm no. having a little fun because we're a couple of fat guys talking about, <laughs> I mean, well, believe me, yeah. nobody wants to see us take our shirts off no, either no. in public, but, but at least we have the right to under the law. <laughs> Is true. that fair? No. Oh, I don't have the answer no. to these questions, but I do yeah. think people shouldn't take it lightly. Give it some thought and realize yeah. that a lot of people feel very differently about this topic. That's all we're asking. Ed Herman, the that's thinker. It. And that's how you do number 200, That's folks. number 200. That's it. What will 201 be? Who knows? If you'd like to get in touch with Brown and Crouppen, you can call them anytime at 
Two, 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 two. Eddie, Eddie, Eddie. Or visit, you know, visit their website, getbc.com. You know, it's just one out of 200, and that ain't bad when you really <laughs> think about it. Thank you, fellas.